Welcome, everybody, to a special, super special episode of Yellowtail Talks Tech. I'm Rob Coble. I am the career success coach at Yellowtail. And uh, this is just an incredible, uh, incredible night for me to be able to be here in person uh, with our co-founders and our uh, infrastructure director, Terry Louie. I have Juby. Hey. Paloma. You guys are like Cher Madonna. You don't need last names. It's just Juby and Paloma, and everybody knows who they are. So uh, it's a beautiful thing. So, guys, it's so cool to be here and yeah, uh, to be able to sit here in front of you. Um, you guys look different when you're not on Zoom. You know, you're much prettier. I just want to say that. So. Wow, but, so uh, my Zoom filters haven't been working? Well, <laughs> you, you, you're fine. I was kind of referring to the guys yeah. more than, okay. than anything here, but um, I digress. So um, this, this month's episode of Yellowtail Talks Tech, we're going to kind of dive into a little bit of behind the scenes of who and what Yellowtail Tech is, who we are, what we're all about, and our philosophies for uh, for changing people's lives, really. I mean, that's what we do. And, you know, we're, it's interesting because we get into the conversation about boot camps and this and that. And, you know, we don't refer to ourselves as a boot camp. And I'm going to start with you, Juby, because that's intentional, because we're not a boot camp. We have a very structured curriculum that uh, is designed to take a certain amount of time, but it's not, uh, I, you know, I've heard it, others refer to uh, places as like diploma mills or, you know, something like that, where you're just trying to get them in and get them out. And that's not what we're all about. And I want you to kind of yeah. amplify on that a little bit. Yeah, and that was very intentional for us to um, brand ourselves as anti-bootcamp, if you want to say it that way. Because we see that the first thing that bootcamp implies is something that's fast, something that's rushed, and we are everything but that. Because we focus on the person behind the student. We want to make sure we actually get you to where the destination is, which is getting a job. That's why also you're gonna notice that our program is not by accident. It has four jobs in it. Cloud for jobs, Linux for jobs. It's because we are committed to not only be in the business of training, but be in the business of changing lives. Because when people come to you, they come to not only get training. The training itself is just the means to the changing yeah. careers, to changing their lives, to um, changing station in life. So boot camps in general, uh, I don't think this word makes, uh, 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 d does d justice to what it is we are uh, in a mission to accomplish. So that's why we don't call it that. And yeah. also- Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We, we really care about the people going through the change because we've done it ourselves. Like I was a career changer myself and I know that you can't make a uh, you can't make a change like the like the one we sell in three months. There's too much information to absorb for that to even be able to happen. Even rarely, you can you make it in six months. So that's why we don't sell easy. We don't sell uh, um, fast. We sell commitment. We make sure you not only you are committed, but we, we make sure you know that we are committed to the process. We are committed to the change because we are in the business of changing people's lives. And this is very important for us. There's a lot of there. One thing that I've really thought a lot about since becoming a career coach, uh, you know, there's a big difference between having a career and having a job. And I, I love that we put that emphasis on career. And there's a lot of talk about, you know, once you get your Red Hat certification, that's just that's just scratching the surface, really. And um, I, I think that any good organization's job is to teach students how to learn more than anything else. And there seems to be a little bit more I should say a little bit less division between student and instructor at Yellowtail. 
Yes. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yes, it, it's true, in fact. Of one uh, fun fact is that more than 90% of our instructors were students of uh, Yellowtail Tech and at having, one point. having sat in that chair previous, they know exactly, they know exactly what's going on. And not only on that, they were career changers themselves. Yeah. So they know, they have a very intimate understanding of what it takes to make that transition. Even Thierry, um, who is now our infrastructure director, he uh, was a student. And in fact, his story is actually very amazing. After he actually went through the program, and um, he got, had a job, and then he... he the Sorry, after you made him drop out of... <laughs> yes, <laughs> so School. definitely, yeah. Yeah, first we'll, I had we'll to... We'll get to that. Yeah, <laughs> first I had to convince him to, this is one of a viable way to go about changing career. Yeah. Once he was uh, uh, convinced, he actually went through the process and um, got a job a different kind of jobs with different uh, um, um, opportunities, he came back to me, he's like, Juby, I want to be part of this. And I was very hesitant, I have to admit, because uh, and at that point in my life, I was committed to not have any partners. Because not only uh, Thierry is an infrastructure director, he's part owner of Yellowtail Tech. And he said, I want to not only help this, I want to be a, uh, an instructor, but I want to be a partner. And I'm going to prove you that it's the right move. Yeah. I'm like, okay, let's, let's, let's see it. And he went and spent the next one and a half year proving to me that he was a, not only an important, but a, an indispensable part of our growth of uh, um, what we have become yeah so it's amazing thank you Thierry for you to be across for me right now mm -hmm. not only as an infrastructure director not only as a student not only as a, a testament to the to the to the process but as a partner to uh, uh, to us Paloma and I uh, and and Yellowtail yeah, Tech it has been a pleasure <laughs> yeah yeah it's... so Oh, I'm sorry. No, go continue. Ahead, go I was gonna. I was gonna say this is a good time to hear that story. You know. So what? <laughs> what attracted you to the vision that Juby was talking about and everything? And what? What was it that prompted you to make that career move? I, I kind of like believe in the program since day one because yeah. I have done my research. Because at the point I moved to Maryland to go to school for robotics and after seeing like the loan starting to pile up and a, a friend of a friend of ours like refer me to Juby and say like hey go check this program and I went and sit down with Juby and talk about the program and all of the potential of like changing your life and at the at that time I sit down with my wife like think about it do some research uh, uh, my wife was saying like Yellow tail, like what? What's that? What is yellow tail? What, what, is, what is yellow tail? So I did my research, do price comparison, and the most uh, attractive things for me was like the length of the program. It's like, like I, I don't have to quit my job. Yeah. To to sit down like for a week. Did you? So were you working full time while you were going through exactly, the program? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I was working full time, and all. And the other thing I I really like about the program was for the community but yeah. so it's like you're not by yourself it's not like a, a, a online program where you you only show up to class you have a team behind you that pushing you that's cheering, cheering for you and help you cross the line and it's not only when you get a job everything like the communication stop like we you all always be part of that community and yeah. and that's what make me really like believe in the in, in, in the brand and try to give back and become an instructor because uh, uh, being able to see people go for from zero to getting a job and seeing the student in the classroom struggling and then seeing them uh, uh, getting a job was like the, that's the best thing yeah about the whole journey and you know it's kind of cool because uh, you know I too am a second career guy and it, you know, it's amazing. First off, it's not easy, you know, to change careers, especially, um, you know, having having been doing the same thing for 20 plus years and then all of a sudden not doing that. Right. 
uh, you step into a whole new world and it's scary and I imagine it was scary for you a little bit and I know our students are feeling that as well you know they're kind of God, what am I getting myself into here? Yeah, you yeah, know, they yeah. know they want to make that change and everything, and they know it's not going to be easy. That they're, they're going to have to really work at it and everything. But what, one thing that I've I've heard more than anything else with any of the videos that I've done with any of our our students after they graduate and whatnot uh, is them talking about how the program is structured and how. Every, every single one of them, no matter which instructor they're talking about, will say something along the lines of, they made it really easy for me to understand. And the fact that it was a human being giving them, giving them these lessons, not just self-paced videos and yeah. whatnot, uh, that, you know, that was giving them those messages. And I'm, I'm guessing that was like, obviously very intentional when you put this thing together. You wanted to have that connection, that human element. Yeah, that human element, actually, <laughs> I was so convinced that human element was the, the secret, uh, uh, sauce, secret sauce of our, of our process. I was very reluctant to move um, the program online. Because don't forget, uh, a, f a few years before COVID, this, yeah. uh, this program was 100%. exclusively 100% face-to-face. So I know the impact of having people uh, n next to you, connected, physically connected to you to, and, and, and teach you. So when it was time to actually transition online, I was, very, I was one of the person to, uh, to not only admit, but to, to be very reluctant to actually transition. But we found a way to deliver a hybrid model where we still have the online component to be able to reach more people, to reach more territory, uh, more territory yeah. while keeping that commitment of community, of, um, of the promoting, concept. Of promoting community, of like bringing students in to study together, to work together, to, to struggle together, because we had that physically. Like we, our office was always open for our students to come and do things together. So when COVID happened, we were like, how do we do this online? Yeah. And I think we've, we've managed to, to adapt yes. without sacrificing that component. And that's the quality, the quality of the, yeah. the, the training. Too. That's weird for me, having only been there with the whole online thing, you know, to even think about that. What was the hardest part of making that transition and, and building that community through an online portal? The hardest part was uh, the mindset, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Because for for the staff or for the students or for both. For me. <laughs> for yeah. for Judy yeah. himself. Yes, I was my biggest blocker. It wasn't Thierry for sure. Yeah. It wasn't anybody around me, because they were always floating around the idea of how you could reach more people with what it is you offering. But I was convinced in my mind that uh, the the fact that we are meeting in person, the fact that we are uh, in community, in a classroom, was the secret sauce. Yeah. But it has proven that we were offering way more than that. We are, were offering processes that, are, uh, um, that were iterative, iteratively uh, being improved. We were offering commitment. We are offering accountability. them accountability. We were also offering them instructors that care and that relate to their journey. Yeah. Which, when I look back, this is what's most important, is having instructors that can relate to your journey. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I commonly hear is when, when students say, I love David because I'm sure he cares if I get the concept or not. And they say the same thing about T about all our teachers. And I think it's because they went through it. Homegrown. Yeah. So, we all were homegrown. And yeah. we know we know what it takes to make it to the industry and, and we, we all are we, we, we care about like the student journey. Like when a student like went land a job, 
Like it's a we party. all celebrate. It's a party, it's a party it's inside Yellow Hotel Tech. And yeah. this is what we were working for. We were working for lots the success. of bottles have been opened. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many when, a cork have popped. Yeah. And 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 to go back to changing lives because we throw around this um, this term, uh, this phrase a lot. We change life. I wanted to take a chance to explain what I mean because it can be very vague and it can be taken in different contexts. But when we take people who were literally getting by, who were literally in a state of depression with their current uh, situation at work, and you take that same person six to nine months later, mm -hmm. you put them in a position where they can afford a mortgage, they can afford two vacation a year, they can afford to send their kids to private school, all of a sudden, I think this is the closest thing you can do for a human, a family, uh, to a miracle. You know what, my, when I do those videos, my favorite question to ask is like, so since you've started this new career, has your financial status changed? And every time I ask that question, you just watch this big smile come across their faces. Yeah. You know, before they say a word, they just get this big smile. And, and you know, they have the, all their new bling on it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, well, I want to go back to, to Terry for a minute because when, when you came on and, and uh, you know, started getting as involved, you know, as the infrastructure director and everything, was that before when everything was uh, in person or was it after we kind of switched to the online? Uh, the, the thing is, my my uh, collaboration with Yellow Hotel, uh, I don't know, I don't know if Juby sees it like the first time we met, but uh, it looks like it was it was meant to be. Yeah. Because the moment I joined the team, like I was fully, like committed. on committed and and trying to help. I was in the classroom helping my my fellow uh, 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 classmate because we all were in this together yeah. so that's what i like about it. we all were in this together and sometimes Have, you just know you know you, it's you, like yeah you just know this is a good fit this is a good match yeah we're all right where we need to be yep yep so uh the the good thing like we always tell our students is follow the process because everything that we do is intentionally mm -hmm. we want to make sure that you follow the framework because uh if you don't find, like, for example, if you, we have Freestyle. people with a, a, a mm -hmm. IT background come to the program because they already know a little bit, they don't really follow the, the, the framework. And they want to, like, jump ahead yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after I joined and a couple of, like, once I get my certification, I was already a TA helping uh, my, my uh, uh, instructor, Alan. Shout out to Alan. Uh, uh, and Alan the OG. Yeah, Alan the OG. I remember how he just put me in the spot. I like, said, hey, I'm wanting it. Can you, can you start class? And he was in the parking lot. <laughs> you know? Tried to put me on the spot. And that's what we all, we, all, 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 all the time, that's what we do. Like push our student to not only be a student, but try to be a leader. Yeah. So this is one thing that Yellowtail did uh, to me. So. Once I get my first job and I was exposed, uh, I exposed myself to the new technology. I said, like, hey, Juby, we need to, you know, uh, bring this technology, new technology, to to the team and stuff like that. And Juby was telling me, like, hey, I had that vision a long time. Like, let's sit down and and draft it. And we we went to the uh, uh, drawing board and and literally, yeah, we were at the drawing board. Say, hey, what we're gonna implement? And then sit down day and night. Uh, uh, I remember, like we we were all wearing different hats. Like I was the cameraman at the time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a video editor <laughs> before the team was like uh, uh, as big as it is now. Um, creating beats because we we didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> with YouTube. Yeah. So so it it was it was and still be a fun experience. Yeah. So becoming like the uh, infrastructure director is I say like Juby like I want to be part of this team. And, and do whatever I, I can do to, you know, put more into this. And we started to work together. And the, the, something I really appreciate from Juby and Paloma is trusting a new guy switching career to lead this department. Yeah. So the, the model was like, we fell forward. That's what I mean. We're going to try. We're going to test off. 
and and here we are now like we we have the the i would say like the greatest like uh, team and infrastructure helping our student uh, uh get jobs and 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 the most important things is it's not only a job it's a career uh it's it's only it's really like amazing to see the student not only take what you give them but they go beyond that yeah. like you see them getting other certifications because we give them a framework to go and get another certification yeah, yeah like yeah. rob said earlier they they learn how to learn with us yeah, yeah. and i think as adults that's a luxury because most of us tend to think that the minute we're done with college, like that's it, we learned, that was everything we had to learn and we don't really keep up with new things as much. But when you go t through a non-conventional program that's, that doesn't look and feel like college, you're learning in different ways. You're also learning how it is that you particularly learn. And I, I think that's something that's super important with us. And I, I always talk to our students about this. Like, you have to figure out how is it that you are able to memorize things? Is it through practice? Is it through taking notes? Is it through listening to a video multiple times? I can't tell you what's gonna work yeah, for you. Yeah, it works different for everybody. But the minute they pass that first certification, they have that win. And they're like, man, I implemented X, Y, and Z, and now, even if it's not with yellow toe, I can go and, and do this again. Yeah. Um, it's like a drug. They get a little bit and now they want more. Yeah. <laughs> and and also it's a it's a very interesting career that has that potential. Like sure. I can't think about another career where you are forced to learn and keep current um, the way we are. So it's like whatever I knew five years ago isn't really isn't that all relevant today so i have yeah. to learn the new things also if i don't keep adding to my skills i'm gonna stay behind yeah and yeah, and stagnant but but that's amazing for career changers because they always it's like they jump on a train that's already moving so the minute they add a second skill they're at the market with with those two skills that are brand new and that companies are looking for yeah and, and I want to add uh, um, on the topic of training versus career. Like we said, we are in the business of helping you change career, not only in training. What we mean by that is partly why our program is longer. It's because we focus on the foundational knowledge that's important to have because most boot camps out there or most training they are so eager to sell to what people want to hear which is train fast train cheap start making money and start making money ten dollar yeah. course a lot of it <laughs> very fast what it does it forces those training those offering to strip all the foundational knowledge necessary Fun. where Foundational and contextual. And contextual knowledge necessary for them to be able to do anything beyond that one job we are training them for. Yeah, yeah. Because one thing I didn't want is be a place where I'm training one-trick ponies. Because when you train someone too specifically about something and anything that tweaks, they actually get lost. Yeah. And I've seen that where... Uh, our competitors, they train people so narrowly because people care about getting trained in three months or they don't want to um, learn anything contextual. They go and get a job and they get fired. Guess where they come back to? Yeah. They come back to Yellow Tail Tech to actually pay Fill more, pay twice to get trained properly, to, be, to have the chance to get the knowledge they need to go and build a proper career in IT. I, I, since you've been talking, it brings up to me, and my, I, I conjure up the image of the, the old adage of, you know, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, teach him how to fish, yep. he'll yep. eat for a lifetime. And, and um, you know, that also brings to mind the apprenticeship. And I can't remember who it was that I just interviewed. Um, and one of the things he said about the, uh, the apprenticeship was it was the perfect amount of tough love. Yes. That was the words that he used. And I know 
I remember hearing a student once say, you know, that, that I don't like this apprenticeship because they don't, you know, they don't tell me enough of what I need to do. And he was the only one that has ever said that. Everybody else is, is like, this has helped me to develop my problem solving skills yes. and my research skills. And, you know, if you talk to any of the, the people out there in IT, be it software development, be it Linux system administration, whatever, they will tell you what makes them good at their position is their ability to research, their yep. ability to find the answers. Yep. Yeah, yep. and, and we, um, we start training them in like like day one. Day yeah. one, hey, like if you have a question, before you ask your uh, classmate or your instructor, like go go ahead and try to see if you can find it online. Yeah. yeah. Research, teaching them how to research, teaching them how to be self-reliant. Yep. Uh, yes, we are here, and I always make it clear, we are here to support and help, but we want you to build that muscle of self-reliance, that muscle of due diligence, that yep. muscle of research, and because, that, that because it's not natural. Yeah. It doesn't come natural. Yeah. You build that, that, that skill. And if you don't show that due diligence when you have the job and you just go to your coworker and ask them for help, the first thing they're going to ask you is, what did you do? What did you do already? What have you researched? Yeah. yeah. What, what have you been able to diagnose so far? Mm -hmm. so, so we intentionally push them to, to places that they haven't been before in the apprenticeship. So we introduce at the apprenticeship concepts and technology that they haven't used because we know that sysadmins, cloud engineers, we are change makers. So normally we are the ones called in our organization to tinker with new uh, software and stuff to see how it can be implemented in that organizational context. So we're going to have to like make build the puzzle without anybody's help. Yeah. And and when you usually have to ask for help, you have to be able to explain what you've done so far. And I think our students have that. Yeah. yeah. And, and oh, go ahead. Yeah, it, it's to go back to that idea of why the apprenticeship e is even important. The concept of Catch-22 in this industry, specifically in the industry of IT as we know it, the concept of Catch-22 is real. You need a job to get the experience, but wherever will you get that experience if you never got a job? Right. So we knew going in, this was the biggest challenge that we were facing. That's why we partnered up with a company to be able to funnel our students that have passed their certification to actually give them a chance to have hands-on, real hands-on, to actually uh, um, have things to talk about in, in, in an interview. Because it's very important. Because anyone who actually uh, hires you, yeah, they're going to train you, but they want to know what you have done, not in a classroom setting. So yes, the, the, the student who told you, well, um, I didn't get enough uh, uh, support, it's kind of by design. Yeah. Because when you get to the job, the job doesn't pay you to ask them questions. Right. The job pays you. The, your to only value, value to, the, to, the, to the team is for you, for you to bring your ability to solve problem. If I have to answer every question there is about the problem you need to solve, yeah. You might as well just go do the job. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when we were designing the, the apprenticeship, like the technical part of it, and I was telling Juby, hey, this thing is going to be hard. Like, they, like, like they're going to struggle. And say, like, hey, Juby yep. said, like, hey, that's, that's, that's the goal. That's the goal. We have yeah. to set the bar high. Not only set it high, but uh, uh, reflect the reality of the market, yeah. of what the market needs, what the employer needs. Because an employer who's handing you hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's because they expect you to actually deliver real value to the to the to the yeah. to the operation. Also, I think there's there's a benefit to that for the students because I remember when I was changing careers, like m the the largest source of of anxiety for me was I don't know how things are gonna be asked. Like, I didn't know how the ticket was going to come. I didn't know if I was going to be informed about a problem via email. I didn't, I, all that contextual knowledge of, of the environment kept me up at night. 
So for them to ha to have an internship where they get assigned work, like like a, a regular job would assign them, basically calms them down. Like, oh, okay, I see how all these things that I learned the last six or nine months come together now. And it mirrors the real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Step yeah. Into. We, we, so we, we make yeah. sure too. We make sure that the technologies that we use into the apprenticeship is cutting edge technologies, and we have students coming back saying, hey, I'm using Jira, I'm using all of these tools that I see in the apprenticeship, uh, apprenticeship and this is this is really cool. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, the, the way I like to uh, um, tell them, it's like, you remember a karate kid, kid <laughs> when he spent like three months doing wax on, wax off, <laughs> yeah. and being upset at yeah, Mr. Yeah. Miyagi, and he doesn't know why he's doing wax on, wax off until he, he hits the stage and he had to block. Yeah. So it's the same idea. Yes, some things get repetitive. Yes, you feel lost. But if you trust the process, if you realize that we've been in this business improving this process since 2014, we, we are one of the leading uh, 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 in, uh, um, institution in the industry. We have a, a partnership with AWS, Red Hat. If you understand all, the, all that, you just have to trust the process. Yeah. And, and I'm glad you brought that, the partnerships up because I was, I was going to segue into that a little bit. The, uh, when Paloma was talking, I was thinking, well, obviously it's working because you're attracting the attention of uh, the, the, the people that basically own the training that we are offering. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, yeah, the, they, on, the on, ecosystem on. we operate in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and I think that you know is a great testament to you know what's going on here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about. I guess I should direct this to the infrastructure director because this is about infrastructure. But um, there's, you know, in the year and a half that I've been with you guys, almost a year and a half now, there's been there's been a many additions to the team and everything. So, can you talk a little bit about that and and the people that are you know, on, on the back end, supporting the student's journey. Uh, the, the, the thing is, technology is moving, right? And we're growing. So we have to hire experts. So we have to grow the team to pretty much deliver, like, uh, 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 to, to make the infrastructure stronger. So this is why you keep, you, you see, like, we, we're growing so fast because we need to have experts. Yeah. Because I know, let's say I know um, um, uh, uh, AWS, I know Linux, but we need to offer our students more than that every day. The, 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 the job market asks for more every single day. So we yeah. have to hire an uh, uh, expert to pretty much come and you know, add value to what we offer. Well, and even, you know, and I'm thinking too, you know, I mean, the, you know, what I do, what Kez does, um, you know what Tyla does. You know, we're we're non-technical people, but we're there to support our technical students uh, with yes. those things that you know. In my opinion, of course, being a career coach, I'm going to say this because number one, because it's true. Yeah. But you know, it's like I think 50% of getting the job has nothing to do with your technical ability. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. And okay. um, you know, so it's good to to have somebody that can help walk you through that process. Um, I'm constantly amazed at like, you know, what Kez and, and Tyla are doing on their end to attract the industry and the support that Kez gives, you know, to the students as they go through the journey. And I think that, well, let me put this in the form of a question and I'll open this to whoever wants to answer it. You know, I think that's part of the reason that, that our students feel more like the community is because they have that support yep. going through it. Yes, and um, that support, not only it's intentional, but it's at different um, stages. Because yes, when they're in the, in the classroom, they need the support of uh, instructors and TAs. Now we've added uh, um, extra um, lab hours. We've added weekend review sessions in person. All these are in person. We've added more uh, um, um, content on the, on the learning platform for them to have access to. 
we've added extra support when it's time to pass the cert. We, we bring in expert um, um, to teach them about peripheral, like Paloma was talking about, peripheral uh, technology they need to know. Because when you walk into a job, you, you go as a AWS expert, but you are using peripheral technology. Sure. sure. So we have to bring yeah. in experts to teach those peripheral technologies that Paloma, me, or Thierry might not have. Because now that Thierry transitioned into a more managerial position, he's not as technical anymore because technology is leaving him behind. Yeah, literally, yeah, because yeah. things are moving. Yeah. So we have to go and hire current expert to help us grow, improve the, the, the offering. And we are committed to continuously improve the pro uh, all the uh, uh, um, the training and the processes we are delivering. Yeah, I think so keeping it, up with technology is kind of a full time job in itself. Yes, yeah. and, the, and that's the, actually the one technical of my people at Yellowtail have to go through lots of certifications. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shout out to Santiago to Ricky. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, 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 it takes a lot. Actually, it's the part that's tricky, the yeah. most tricky in the business yeah. is to stay current, stay relevant, help the student show up on the job market with the most cutting edge version of what it is you're training them on. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the biggest challenge that we take we, on every day. We have to keep our ears on the streets. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I think being able to utilize our, 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 we're starting to get such an awesome alumni community, um, you know, of people that are willing to give back to the Yellowtail community. They stay in touch, you know, they're, they're on our Slack channels continuing to help yeah, even the when, new students and, yeah. and whatnot. Even when they are not able um, or willing to come back as instructors, but they still have a way to give back, to uh, encourage other students, and um, to, to share their stories. Even to feedbacks, which is yeah. something that we really rely on. So yeah. we have some students that go into, let's say, container world. So they say, hey guys, I think you should offer this now. I think this is gonna be valuable to our students. And, and we pretty much keep in touch with our alumni and, 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 and that way we can always know what's going on and, and offer our students like, you know, better opportunities. Yeah. On the next episode of Yellow Tail Talks Tech. You might want to change career, but IT might not be the career you change into. What would you tell them? Do your research. Yes. So <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. So fake it till you make it? No, kinda. you're not faking it until you're making it. Yeah. So I don't have to. Can you just tell me what to do? 